WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up 283 points, eight tenths of a percent. S&P one and uh, two tenths, basically 51 points. Nasdaq one and eight tenths, that's 269 points. Russell's up 21, one percent. Semis are up eight tenths or 28 points. Gold back eight dollars and ninety cents, 1920.50. It's testing that support at 1920.20. Silver's down 38. Eight cents, twenty four ninety two is its print lights. We crude only back twenty three cents right now. She trade out of one eleven eighty nine. Natural gas having a nice day up twenty six pennies. And the thirty year treasury print at one forty eight oh eight. Uh, the low of today should be a bottom. It's going to form a TD nine count bottom today. Complete that pattern. If we do see a close below today's low tomorrow. Tells you about a very strong word, strong move to the uh, downside. In the meantime, let's go take a look at our indice charts out here momentarily. I'll have those posted for you. And in the upper right hand corner you're going to see the Dow Jones what you can see about that is that today is going to become bar number eight of a TD nine count bar number nine still has to uh, close tomorrow and in order for that to happen bar number nine that is you need to see a close tomorrow above 34 480 76 inside the Dow if you get that then you've got a TD nine count so there should be or could be a top that forms inside of the uh, Dow in between today and Thursday we don't have that same message in the S&P you're only in bar number five but price is heading into a resistance level. That's at 4526. The NDX 100 has taken out its first resistance level, 14342. You take out one, you go to the next. The next one here is at 14769. Those resistance levels, those green horizontal lines are their breakdown levels, the beginning of their TD9 count, or I should in this case here, the high of their TD9 count pattern. The Russell 2000, only bar number five, but heck, this has just been trading sideways. It is just in a consolidation pattern. It is not a consolidation pattern. The semis, only bar number five, says they can continue to move higher. The transport's out there dealing with resistance at 16,618. So the spot volatility today is going to also become bar number nine of a TD9 count. Now on that pattern, it can be bar number nine, bar number eight, or the bar following bar number nine. As we look at the last three instances inside of the spot volatility, it was a bottom that formed on bar number nine, the spot volatility, that was on January 4th, right at a TD9 count breakout level. We look at the pre previous TD9 count high that took place on December 1st out there. Uh, so we want to pay attention. This is signaling we could see a top inside the market just based upon the spot volatility. But folks, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock sharp. Have a terrific Tuesday. Take care.